Hey, this is Mark Moore, aka Tuxedo Mark, at various places on the internet. It's 9.09 a.m. according to a computer clock on Friday, January 23rd, 2015. And guess what I just read on TV.com this morning? Uh, they found the new Supergirl. Yeah, for CBS's uh, new series that uh, will be premiering sometime this year, I guess this fall probably. Um, Okay, there were a few different actors uh, auditioning for the process, including one named Claire Holt. She's an Australian actor that, um, she plays Emma Gilbert on The Vampire Diaries and uh, The Originals. She's from Australia, but uh, she didn't get the part, which upsets uh, some people. Uh, some other people thought Katie Lotz might be a good choice. She played Sarah on Arrow. Um, I loved her in that role, and I got so pissed off that they killed off Sarah on Arrow that uh, I stopped watching it. Yeah. Um, but... <laughs> the... Uh, the real um, person that uh, got the role is named Melissa Benoist, I guess. It's probably a French name, it sounds like. But uh, she's American. She's uh, actually the same age as Claire Holt, 26. A few months younger, actually. Um... Her birthday's pretty close to mine, actually. She was born October 4, 1988. She's from Littleton, Colorado. But she's not a natural blonde, as you can see on the screen behind me. I certainly hope that she will be blonde for the series itself. I don't think I could get used to a uh, brunette Supergirl. But anyway... Helen Slater wasn't blonde either. She dyed her hair for the role, so... Um, I really enjoyed uh, Laura Vandervoort's performance on Smallville. Um, so now I'm hoping that uh, Melissa Marie Benoist... We're going to have to figure out how she pronounces that name. I hope that she'll do the character justice. Apparently, Supergirl already has a series commitment. Um, it's going to deal with a 24-year-old Kara sor who's a survivor of Krypton. No mention of, like, Argo City or anything like that. She's a survivor of Krypton. And she's been hiding out, you know, as a regular human on Earth, just trying to live a normal life. And then she decides, well, enough of that. Uh, so she's going to try to embrace being a superhero. The superhero that she was always meant to be. And that that's basically the premise. So she's uh she's adopted by the Danvers family. So that's where uh she'll probably be going by the Linda Danvers um alias. Um I don't know at what age that she survived Krypton. It's I don't know if that's good, if that's specified yet. Um, there's also going to be something that she's going to have like a um, a sister, like you know, one of the Danvers' own kids. Her sister is going to try to learn as much about Krypton as possible, and she also apparently works for a government agency. Uh, the sister, not Supergirl. Um, so, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, we'll see what happens. Apparently, she's also a singer. She was on season four and an early part of season five of Glee. I haven't seen her um, in anything. Apparently, she's in a movie called Whiplash that proves that she can act. I haven't seen it, um, but anyway, we'll see what happens, uh, 
I guess we'll probably get uh, some kind of promo images and maybe a little teaser eventually. Um, I don't know what the status of production is. It's probably in pre-production. Well, yeah, it's got to be in pre-production, but it'll probably be moving into production shortly, I, I would guess. Um, when it'll be on, who knows, what, like, what t um, day and what time, I don't know. If they're smart, they'll, uh, they'll put it on, like, um, after Flash, like, to go up against Supernatural. Or maybe that would be a bad idea, but they, they could get the non-Supernatural watching, uh, Flash crowd. I don't know, um, I don't know where would be a good spot to put it. But anyway, uh, share your thoughts if you want, and uh, it's 9.15am and that's it. Thanks for watching.